Hi everybody, this is going to be the video for the genetic models course activity. Um, this is going to be another one of those where you just kind of model what's happening with some, I think they're using construction paper this time. You're going to develop genetic models to calculate the probability of expressed traits in a population over several generations. So as we've talked, you get half your chromosomes from your mother and half from your father. You combine them to form your genome, you, your unique never seen before combination of DNA that makes you you. Um, there are 70 trillion possibilities per pairing between any given parents and somehow you're what came out and so it's amazing really how unique we are. In this activity we're going to get a create we're going to create um, you're going to get creative to model chromosome inheritance uh, you're going to design your own species, determine the variations in the population, show its, how its offspring inherit a specific combination of genes. Basically, you're just going to model this process, but you're going to get creative. So, uh, part one is to design a species. You'll notice that I'm leaving the example for me to go by here. I want you to read it to kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for. You cannot use this. If you do use this, I will give you a zero. Okay, so please don't do that. Basically, what you're going to do is invent a thing it can be a living it can be an animal it can be a plant it could be um, whatever you want you need to come up with about three traits uh, and describe them here and uh, that's just you know just give me a quick definition you can do whatever you want um, normally I think stuff like unicorns and dog cat hybrids are dumb um, and no you can't do any of these but you can come up with your own and that's fine um, then you're gonna come up with three traits the first one is a simple trait you know uh, light skin versus dark skin or um, fuzzy hair versus sharp hair right uh, the second one is has to be codominance which means you have to have two dominant and one recessive basically okay is what it comes down to in this case it's blood type but it can be shape of the wings or color of the feathers or you know how the tongue does whatever and the third one needs to be incomplete dominance. Um, you know, how there's basically two dominant. There's no recessive. There's just, I'm sorry, my bad. There is a, a with co-dominance, there's two dominants and one recessive. Here, there's a dominant, but it doesn't quite dominate, and a recessive that's not quite recessive. I'll give you a little hint on this. The easiest thing to do is color. You can do the color of the skin, color of the fur, color of the um, eyes, color of the feathers, whatever you want. But color is usually the easiest thing to go here and then you're going to write them down and here's an example okay and here's another example right um, so you're going to write down the trait what is the first phenotype that's going to be like up here it's yellow seeds over here will be second the phenotype now for the first trait there should just be two there's not going to be a third and a fourth okay um, for the for the codominance there should be four okay so just try to figure out the rules and follow the rules and then for the third one which in this case is incomplete dominance you should have three so you should have the dominant trait the recessive trait and then the mixed trait and then you know this one will be blank okay um, then you're going to choose the genotype of the parents now notice that in this case the parents the genotype when we're only dealing with one trait is one set of letters big Y little Y or big Y big Y or little Y little Y so in this case just kind of kind of separate them okay I'm gonna give you an example here I'm gonna separate this out for you right here this is big Y little Y that's the parent is big Y Y oh no my space bar doesn't work um, capital I lowercase I capital P lowercase F okay but why does my space bar work I know why. Okay, pause. Anyway, ignore all that stuff I just said. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with, you're going to have three sets of letters, three sets of two letters for your traits, and just kind of put them all together, and you're going to write them down. Okay? There's a couple of examples there. And then you're going to do Punnett squares for each of those traits, like the first set of traits, um, the second, and the third. Okay? Here's some examples. And um, evaluate the possible genotypes. So explain to me the percentages of what the offspring might end up with. Okay, here's a good example. Pause this and read it. Would any of these affect its survival in its, in its natural habitat? 
hopefully you got creative enough and you were able to say, oh yeah, if it's born with, with, with webbed feet, it's going to be, um, you know, very good. If it's born with unwebbed feet, then <clears throat> there's going to be a, uh, uh, it's, it's not going to swim as well, which causes it to have a problem, right? And then using your opponent's squares, explain why there aren't present in either parent. Explain why traits that aren't present in either parents could show up in the offspring. And even if you don't have that possibility with your parents, um, you should, but even if you don't, um, explain how it could happen anyways. How can two brown-eyed parents have a blue-eyed child, for example? All right, please make sure that you do all this, and um, once you get it done, get it saved, because this is a, this is a grade. This is going to be worth a bunch of points. Oh, wait, there's task two. Sorry, we got to keep going. Here you're going to get um, some construction paper, two different colors, uh, about two sheets of each color. I'm sorry, four different colors, about two sheets of each color. Um, if you if you don't have construction paper, you can use regular paper and you can color it with a, a, a crayon or some type of a highlighter. Okay, Some scissors and some tape. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to model um, this meiosis thing. Okay. And so you're then going to model crossing over. So do what it says. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. So you're going to have four different colors. You're going to kind of do some labeling here so that you can see where the alleles are. These are where the genes are. Okay. Go ahead and write on it if you want. Um, then just kind of model how it moves through meiosis. Okay. Then model crossing over. All right. Then. Um, you have to calculate with this what's happened here and uh, yeah sorry I had to go to the next page because I was giving you the answer so um, yeah do this get it done get it submitted to me and um, don't worry about it being pretty don't worry about it being um, you know just get it done all right